Yeah, another video, response video. Yeah, I'm just gonna, we got a bunch of these coming, I think. I mean, I saved this video for responding to. It's not really of merit. Piero video, Ignoring the Mysteries. So it has a good, intriguing title, but it's really just a video full of mush, bullshit, nonsense, drivel. And he has the, the arrogance to say a brief commentary on this blather by one rocking Mr. E. You know, well, the Rocking Mr. E video, so there was a couple people who responded, Professor Anton included. Um, and I'll get to his video eventually. Um, but there's no counter-argument being made here. The guy made a pretty straightforward video explaining how, you know, this whole idea that there's no reality is just bullshit. There's a reality. We can describe it and define it. And uh, it's uh, sort of game over for this mumbo-jumbo bullshit that, you know, what's behind the thunder, what's behind the lightning, you know, what's making the wind blow. No, we have the answers. And they're, you know, they're just not fascinating and fun answers. Now I shall reload it. See what the, f the hell happens here. Come on, YouTube. Alright, so this is annoying, um, because he's blocked me, so it's not really a reply to him. Mr. Rocking, you have any video, um, a block. It'd be nice if you have loud enough. Um, send me a video of Mr. Rocking, for any of you familiar with him, or the video I mean a while ago that he blocked me uh, before it got uploaded, or while it was uploading. Yeah, probably because you were really annoying. Probably posting six or seven comments on one single video, just a chain of mishy mushy nonsense. And he says, Why do I have to respond to this crap? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you knew Nietzsche as well as you say, then you would be hesitant to claim that what that you did, given his philosophy on the subject of being understood and his influence or lack thereof on readers. Well, that was really great. Uh, if you do decide to educate him, just don't make the mistake of actually quoting Freddy. Uh, that would be setting up a false proposition, don't you know? Heavy traffic ahead. Hmm. Well, anyway, comments are not very interesting. And the video sucks, too, so... He's made a video mentioning me and with a link to the, to the reply I made to him. And, you know, he's talking about how I'm a postmodernist trying to deny science. I'm not denying science. You, you're you in denial, period. No, I'm sorry. You are design, denying science. Um, you're, you're, you're not, you, you know, you're playing games with science. There, there's no rational science defending any of your bullshit, especially when you caught around to talking about um, the life of plants, you know, using that kind of pseudo, it's not even pseudo-science, it's just flat-out creationist science. Denial of reality. I'm not denying science, I didn't deny science at all, and they're quite the opposite. I'm pointing out what happened in science, you know, the history of science. And you clearly don't know, Mr. E, that uh, the idea of an object in reality is an Aristotelian theory about what reality is like. It's not all material theories about what the real stuff is do not have to be objects where things have properties. Because we found that, oh, well, velocity... Yeah, no, sorry, no sale. Um, so again, he's trying to, like I said, through through bending work, to playing word games, uh, to say that there's some sort of uncertainty about this whole idea that things have properties. Well, we know on this level of the universe, they certainly have properties. And as you get bigger, we can sort of see in the bigger universe, they have properties. Um, there's just no denying that, okay? Uh, the, 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 that we can see. It's right in front of us. We can see that the, what the round thing can do, what the triangle thing can do, what the square thing can do. We can have different things, and they can do different things. Liquid water does one thing. Frozen water does something else. There's properties. Um, the, the fact that we can't see all the nuance of the properties of the tiny, tiniest things in the universe doesn't change the fact that properties is a fact of things. Things have properties. There's no thing that's morphing. There's no um, shaman uh, shapeshifters out there. 
They just don't exist except in your imagination. Any one of those properties, no nope. color, no. Nope. These are all properties of relationships. And, and the point is that postmodern philosophy really is any philosophy taking into account the changes in science from the classical model to the standard model and to relativity. Well, whatever, that doesn't change that much, and the standard model is not solid yet, so this doesn't mean anything either, and he's just using this these, these veiled explanations that, yeah, well, we found that Newton needed to be refined through Einstein uh, to explain gravity, but yeah, it's getting closer and closer to tying this stuff up, and and we still know that there is no there's no magic out there. It's it's all solid property stuff. If things do one thing, or they do this thing, or they do that thing. But it's a mechanical universe. There's no there's no freedom in it. There's no freedom is even in itself a silly, just nonsensical word invented by human stupid humans. Smart humans would not even apply such a word. So it means nothing. Uh, it means the absence of a restraint. You know, those are the postmodern facts that have to be taken into account. Now, if you want to take your lead of what that means from some, like, literature professor that thinks E equals MC squared is a penis or whatever, like these weird examples they come up with, um, that, that's one thing. But I'm saying go to the science and, you know, show that you understand what logic is about when it's talking about objects, what you know about classification, what, what you've learned about uh, determinability in mathematics. And, uh, from, you know, yeah, whatever that is, and more nonsense, you should have said the word probability rather than determinability. But, um, you know, if you're going to be scientific about it, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, but again, just you're just playing a game. Where's the mysteries? Define these mysteries that are relevant or meaningful. Define a, a, a meaningful, a relevant mystery. Well, and Russell and so on. And uh, what you've learned in physics from Bohr, etc., and Einstein. You know, and see if you can take these into account. I mean, I don't think they even understand. Now, the funny thing to me is Take that them I, into account how? Again, how, 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 why, why do we have to account for any of Einstein? What, what, what needs to be accounted for? Um, he's describing a, a universe. This is how it basically functions um, mechanically. And there's no dice play. I think objectivism is a postmodern philosophy. Why? Because it takes into account this supermodern latest physics that we're dealing with. Yeah, and more made-up stuff, more ambiguously described mush, okay? There's no new modern physics. There's a new modern math that takes into account probabilistic outcomes, okay? Likely, likely outcomes of things that we can't measure. And we can't measure them because they're too small. So none of our measuring devices can measure them without interfering with them. And that's a dilemma. And so we account for the dilemma by creating math that just says, well, let's just do area math. Let's just do broad stroke math. Okay, so we can still do the math. All right, we'll just keep it all broad stroke. And that way we can get some useful, glean some useful information without having explicit information. And it semi rejects it. And it's like, we're all about science, but that's just nonsense. And so, what it does is it tries to mix the old classical model with romanticism. Now, the classical model itself is rational and, and scientific and empirical. So, it's, it has to move on. It realizes its own uh, faults. You know, there, there were faults and enigmas. No, what, what I say again, it realizes. It, it doesn't do any of that stuff. Yeah, that's right. We get more and more precise with time, but there's still. This word mystery, 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 mystery. What, what's the big deal mystery? What's the one that's just, oh, we got sky, ah, got to know that one, or we can't understand anything about us. We know everything we need to know about how we got here and what we're doing here, all right? That's biology. That's big physics, all right? And big physics we understand. 
explained. And so, of course, as science, the classical model moves on into the standard model and becomes it. But what they do is they take the old, a copy of the old classical, they try to invigorate it by, with romanticism, have a romantic view of it. <laughs> like what you're doing, okay? Just this idea that there's some sort of Gaia thing out there, some sort of force in the universe that wants this living thing to take place, this, these biological organisms to consume each other, to refine themselves into super transformers, you know, with 40-inch swords and, you know, the, the mega gladiator. Yeah, that's what the universe is doing. No, I don't think so. I don't think the universe is intentionally conducting cockfights for, for its entertainment. Which does, which we, which separates it from empiricism, so that it just can be romanticized as good in itself. Because of yeah, could you possibly? Could anybody possibly get this joke he just chuckled at? <laughs> Empirical standard modeling confunctionary, but super duper duper kabob. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. <laughs> oh, that's silly, good dude, good dogga. Y'all, the best. Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah. This character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it is a postmodern philosophy because what it what it does is it says, well, look, instead of figuring out concepts that make sense of the new this new world, we'll deal with the new information by denying it, using romanticism to drag us into the past. Uh, turn it off. Using romanticism to drag us into the past. So here he's saying, absolute. You know what's mysterious about this video is your jargon, this this nonsense. What the fuck are you talking about? Romanticism to drag us into the past. Why don't you be explicit? What exactly in the theory that, you know, this bottle is really a bottle? Okay, it's a bottle even if I'm not here to witness it being a fucking bottle. What exactly about that theory um, is romantic? Idiot. And we'll romanticize objectivity in science, so we'll be going, yay, objectivity, and yay, science, and yay, rationality. So, of course, we're for it. Why would we go, yay, to something if we're not for it? Yeah, well, rationality is just a logical thing, right? It's just doing logic correctly as being rational. And the logic is basically taking premises... You know, which we need to do collectively as a group here. We're going to have to start arguing these premises, as Darwin Hamster is trying to encourage, and uh, deal with what they what their implication is. And again, you're not dealing; you're running a fuck away from reality. Reality is is that this is just a dumb a replicating molecule. That's all. It's that's all this is, and everything else tied to it here. This is just tool warfare tools. These are that's all this is. This is just swords, knives, bullets, guns of different um, configuration. A little computer to run the, the missile defense system. <laughs> or the yeah, yeah the, the 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 projectile um, insertion mechanism. <laughs> yeah, I could come up with all kinds of things. We've got a big fat brain, you know, to stick our little willies in vaginas. Just make sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like there's no real evidence you watched my video uh, at all. Well, you probably maybe couldn't understand what the fuck you were saying because you didn't say anything. And, uh, it, no, it's just such funny thing you see online, this wishful thinking of, you know, he's just, he's willing to just assume that I'm trying to discredit science, but in reality, you know, he doesn't know science from his ass in the ground. Yeah, well, you sure did back that up with all kinds of evidence, and I see you quoted him all over the place, Yeah, you can't deny that you quoted him and that you refuted some claim he was making. You just completely knocked it out of the park, right? <laughs> Boy, I'd really eat a home run there, didn't I? In my imagination. So, uh, anyway, oh, that was four minutes too long. I don't, but uh, I mean, I, I'd feel differently if he was going to answer. But some guy 
blocks you and then answers you. It's like, hmm. Oh, God, yeah, you made a video instead of talking crap in a comment section. Shit, yeah, I can't, well, I'm not going to respond to a video. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's, not, it's not like this is a video site. It's a comment site. It's not a video site. Stupid fuck nut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found that humorous. Fail, fail, fail. The idiot, idiot has failed again. Yeah, another fail video by the fail idiot. Fail idiot. Yep. The idiot. Idiot, 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 idiot. Moron. Idiot. Moron. Idiot. Stupid commenters. Uh, let's see. I was, in fact, discussing Nietzsche with you. I have some many hundred videos talking about relativity beyond Galilean relativity. Oh, I'll have to go see what he's going to say about relatively. Ape kill snake. I don't know what that is. I probably don't like him. Why do you think I would give a fuck how I'm doing in a baseball game in your head is beyond me. Oh, it's Puro's comment. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, they're just going to argue their bullshit. Like, Nietzsche should be in, mean something to everybody. His last book sold 40 copies. 40 copies. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't even useful in his own time. Everybody gave up on him. It's Looney Tune. But whatever. Go revere him because he says what you want to hear, which is reality isn't real. <laughs> he always says so. <laughs> yeah. Eh, fucking idiots. Yeah, idiots. 